welcome back to the cardboarders. Today a little different video, nothing about pieces of cardboard and cardboard rectangles, but rather 3D printed stuff. I had a friend who came in with a Sensei's Divining Top Life Counter, 3D printed, and I knew I had to get one myself. Luckily my dad has a 3D printer and I asked him if he could do that for me. And he did. Here are the six pieces that you need to assemble a Sensei's Divining Top Life Counter. You have the top part which you put into this cylinder here and then one after another you put in these pieces while there is a little, let's call it a nipple I guess, uh, here. and. Um, these rings all have that, these in-between rings, so that you know where your life total is to be read at any time. You put in the second life ring in here for the 10 digit, and then you assemble it like this. This right here is a little wonky since I have not yet used glue to glue it together. So you would glue the the top and the bottom the top and the bottom part on the onto the onto the cylinder here in the middle so that the middle parts can still rotate around the the cylinder. Now when it comes to rotating parts, this in the middle, the middle part, the middle gray ring does not rotate, but these black ones do. So right now I'm at 96 life points, so let's get that corrected to 4 EDH players to 40. That would be here. And when I gain one life, I would add one or lose one life, I would remove one. And the number 39 is still readable. I was thinking about adding some color for better readability. And since I'm a simple man, I thought, why not use some silver to, to the silver top to complement kind of the the colors. Um, so I think I will just put it apart and we can speed through my coloring process so you don't have to watch every second of it. I think that looks much nicer, don't you think? I also like the noise it makes. It makes the same kind of clacking noises like the life counters do from, from Wizards directly. I also wanted to show you the mechanics of this. So there are like five of these arms on each of these black rings and they spin around this cylinder and barely get pushed up by those little bumps and they get stopped every number and land in those valleys between those two bumps. I really like that. I really like the simplicity but also efficient way of how it was done. I think these will hold up for, for years to come. I really like that. So yeah, if you wanna make one yourself, I have a link in the description where I got the blueprints from. I also made a green one, which I also haven't glued yet, so I still can take it apart. Oh, I also think I did not 
arrange it correctly. So let's correct that. Right, here we are. This one still has to be a, a little filed, I think. Yeah, there's still some extra, there's still some extra filament in there. So it makes this little sandy noises, which I don't really like that much. Right, and I also uh, got a blue one here, which I haven't assembled yet. Um, this is where my, or my dad's printer rather, um, kind of got overworked, I don't know. So we still haven't found the problem yet, but the filament here looks a little porous. And yeah, that's where we stopped. I kind of wanted one for each color. So still a red and a white or maybe yellow one missing. But right now I have three that work and I still have to glue them, obviously. And we'll probably put some black ink on these two for better re readability. But all in all, I'm very happy and glad to have those. And if you like those, maybe you want to give them a shot with your own 3D printer or you find one around your town or city. Making these should be quite cheap regarding the material usage. So yeah, let me know what you think of these. If you got one or two <laughs> or some yourself, if you got anything else 3D printed for Magic the Gathering, maybe deck boxes or the like, let me know in the comments below. You can follow me on the social medias up here. And lastly, regarding the commander vote we did a couple of days ago, it looks like the Atraxa deck with Saga Tribal won. I started building her already and still need a couple of cards and might try her out tonight when I meet up with some friends and play a couple of rounds of Magic. And then I will share it on the channel, what it looks like and how this deck performed. I wish you a wonderful day, stay positive, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.